Good morning. This is the old mechanic. And what do we got here? We got my own BMW R1200 GS. And today I'm going to show you how to clean the front calipers. It's easy. And I have a few hints and tips for you. So keep on watching and have fun coming over here. So guys, before we start to get the caliper off, I first want to lower the brake fluid in the reservoir. As I'm going to push the uh, pistons back in and the fluid rises, so we get some out. That's easy. Then we have wrench 8. Okay. And my uh, self made tool put this one on, on top. What tools do we need to get the calipers off? I exchanged them for stainless steel bolts as the original BMW bolts start to rust almost overnight. Didn't like that. So, this is Torx 40, but perhaps on your beamer you need a different size. I don't know. It's been a long time since I uh, changed them. So, and of course, we need the torque for the guiding pin. And that's still the same, it's Torx 30. So, before we take the guiding pin out, I'm gonna zoom in. This one. Put it in there. This clip out the guiding pin. Up. See one, and then just up, squeeze it a bit and take the other one out. Be careful when you take the caliper off, you have to unleash this clip, this clip and this clip so the uh, ABS sensor wire is loose. Then we're gonna up that and that. This is the caliper off. Hopefully you can see it. Now we're gonna pump the pistons slightly bit out so we can clean this and this those edges. As you see I pumped them out a bit carefully. So guys what do we need? To clean the brake caliper. Well, there are two ways to go. The expensive way and the cheap way. 
you could use many many of these brake cleaner professionally professional quality yeah for a professionally price or you can mix your own very secretive old mechanic solution and I'm gonna share that secret with you after years of trial and error I developed my own cleaning solution in a moment I'm gonna tell you about it carefully it's not explosive or uh, whatever and you need a toothbrush watch now for this procedure to be a success you need your wife her toothbrush not your own your wife's I don't know why but years of practicing I found that out But now, my special solution. What is it, old mechanic? You ask yourselves. I hope. It's warm water with a squeeze of this wash soap. Yep. Just ordinary from the kitchen. Just a squeeze. Up. And watch how good this works. I'm gonna show you. So I put this thing underneath it. So Just fill it with uh, water. Now, <laughs> drops in my sleeve. <laughs> but who cares? I don't. <laughs> now. It's easy to show you the results. The result, my special up stuff. Is that a good result or not? Remember, the scalloper has already 61,000 plus kilometers behind. Behind, eh? And this is the result. 11 years old. Good, huh? Yeah, it's all about my very special solution. Yeah. Okay, okay. Let's so. so. 
Now we're going to carefully press the Carefully, up the pistons back in. Okay, just block the other ones with say fits exactly. <laughs> side some more as I want to push them all in as much as possible hop, hop, hop. okay ah. <laughs> then we go to the other ones carefully do the same a trick again so. So. and we give the this thing a clean This is the result and there is another tip watch there is on top of that is an arrow see pointing upwards and it's has it points up in the driving direction the driving rotation the driving rotation of the um, disc wheel easy yeah so, but you have to put it the right way in. I'm gonna show you. This one cleaned up. Then we have that guiding pin. Yeah, this is the best I can do. Okay, then now we're at it anyway. That uh, special uh, clip thing each. Am I nuts? Yeah, I think. Who in the world is cleaning this clip? Oops, I do. Watch. What I always do, screw a bolt in and you need to go on doing other things because I have to slide the pads in. I not screw them in all the way because when you screw them by hand in all the way and you forget to torque them, you have a problem. And now they're sticking out, so I see instantly, hey, I have to torque them. I always do a tiny smear of copper grease on my brake pads. But oh, just just a tiny bit. And what I also do is a supersonic tiny bit. The edges, that one, and 
that one just a tiny bit and this is one two this is one two one two three so that's good then his brother it prevents them from squeaking that's what they say I always do a tiny bit of a smear onto that guiding pin. It's prevented from becoming rusty. So, first we're gonna slide in this one so we can put the pin so it doesn't fall out. So, put this one in too. Don't forget that. Up and it's a bit. <laughs> so put it over there. Then slide the guiding a bit in. So I looked at the computer to see what the torque is for the bolts of the front caliper. It's 30 newton meters and here I got my torque wrench and this tool and of course the torque socket gonna set it to 30 even kijk 26 and 4 gives us 30. Now, first we're gonna screw them in. Then, okay, parked. Torqued this one. You just have to carefully tight, but not too tight, and then put that very special hairpin in. So, now we're almost finished, we torqued it and of course my crayon, yes, 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 put the clips from the uh, ABS sensor back in place, there and there, okay. So guys, this was my video about cleaning the calipers. It's not that difficult. Can you do it? Absolutely sure. And when you clean this once a year, it stays in good shape, as you saw on my calipers. I hope you like this video. And if you do, please subscribe to my channel. I really would appreciate that. Mm. And for now, old mechanic to the other side and then out.